I hardly ever use the bar chart widget from Crocoblock's JIT elements. In cases though, where I work with organizations and businesses, I think it's a good recommendation that you try and find situations actually to use a bar chart because it's very impressive. People like data and especially the kind of visitor that goes to a business site. They are impressed by a bar chart. Talk about impressed, how easy it is to use this widget. Very impressive and it just works so quickly and very nice to implement. You can have it vertical and you can have it horizontal. And what you have is you can bring in a number of items and you can display them against each other. For example, here, maybe this is how many ads on Google, Facebook and Twitter. Then in March, it's what, six? You know, you compare it like this. What I will do for our demonstration is look at over months, maybe video one, video two on YouTube, how many views that video got in that month, just to build it out and show you how easy it is to use this widget. For more about Jet Elements from Crocoblock, and go check out the other plugins they have as well. Awesome. And there's a great subscription model as well, also a lifetime deal. And if you sign up for those, you get mega extra baggies full of goodies. Into Elementor we go. I'll use this section here, and then we look for our bar chart here. Click, hold, and drag, and I'll drop it here in this section so we have half a column to work with. You can also put it on a full column. I like to make it a little bit smaller and constrained. It comes in with that example we've seen from the website. And as I hover over them, you'll also notice a nice little tool tip. All the elements here, you have a grid line in the back. You have the range on the Y and the X axis, legend at the top, which you can also move around, and then the labels at the bottom. Let's have a look. So we have a vertical bar, and the first thing we'll do is check how the horizontal bar looks. Shouldn't surprise you, unless you've never seen it in your life. Let's work with the vertical one for now. The labels, these are the periods we're working with. So let's just change them around, and I'll go to January, February, March, and I'll add one more April so we can have four to work with. Then we are working with our access range. This is the unit's total amount, and I'll put it on a thousand. That's quite big. You'll see, look at all these little numbers starting at 28. Drrr, crazy. So we want to have a step size here. Jump to step size, and I'll add 100. And now you'll see that the range has changed from 100 to 100. And if that is not relevant, you can even make 250. Then you should only have. 250, 500, 700, 50 to 1,000 cleans up the grid quite a lot. And if you want to add a 1,000 separator, up here we have a 1,000 and you want to have a comma, for example, after the one, you select this one. We just have the 1,000 at the top once. We're not working with hundreds of thousands, so I think I'll leave it off for now, but no harm in leaving it on. Start with these three, Google, and I'll just change Google and I will call this video one. And then for data, let's say 200 views in the first month, 340, then it drops down to 12. And this month we only had seven views. To style out the color, select style next to it and you have background color, hover color, border color. And if you like how they set it with their opacity, then you're just going to leave this and I'll show you how you can bring in a new color then from copying this element. That's all we have under the content and the style. Close video one, go to Facebook. And now we make this one video number two. This one did a little bit better. It had 789, then 675, then a resurgence of 900. And this month it's trending at 333. You can see now as I hover over the blue bar, it gives us those values I've entered. Style, again, you have those options. We keep it to blue, and then we go to Twitter, and this will be video number three. In the first month, I didn't post this video in January, so zero views. And then in the second month, it had 320. Next month, maybe 219. And then this month only had 55. And that's video three. You can see that light blue. To bring in one more comparison, I'll just go to video three and 
click here on duplicate because now I have the same color settings. I can just go and change the hue, the type of color. Select that, we call this video four. And this one, we had not posted it in the first three months. So I'll have zero comma zero comma zero comma and then this month 472. Now for the styling, because I have kept these settings, all I need to do is go and change the U. So I'll just drag it, let's say all the way to the left. I think it's going to give us the same color. So let's make it rather somewhere here. That pinkish color and then for the rest, we also have to make sure they're pink. And I think the best is just to take the color hex and copy it and then reduce the opacity for the background color. But I, I think I measured that one fairly well. And that's it. So video four only in this month, no views here. So it doesn't display in January, February and March. Let's go and have a look under settings. Adjust the chart height here if you want to set that manually and it will take some time to think and stretch the range that you are working with. You can display the grid lines or remove it. The labels, January, February, March, and April, also show it or not show it, as well as the tool tips, and that's what happens when you hover over it. When you have these specific values that I've entered and you want your visitor to see it, good idea to leave the tool tip in there and even maybe create a little text here at the bottom that tells people hover over the bar to see exact values. Then the legend at the top, let's see, we can put it to the left and change it all around. And that gives you, well, a fairly good idea of where it can go. And if you want to put it at the bottom, I think the way this is structured at the top, pretty good. And you can put it to the left, which is start, and then also to the end. And then let's put it back to the center. And if you want to reverse the order in which they appear with video four first, there's the button for that. Tool tips. So you have a prefix for your tool tips as I hover over it 789. So let's say that was a currency value for some reason. In South Africa, we use RAND, which is an R. Now, when I hover over it, you will see it says 789 RAND. Suffix in this case, is views. This is how many views the video had in a month. Now I hover over it, 322 views. Let's see if I add a space there before views. That's nice. So it gives me that space then between 322 and views. And for the thousand separator, that one, you will have to go and add the comma or whichever symbol you want to use for it in the thousand separator field. I want to go back to chart height and just type in there something like 750. And interestingly enough, when I put that height in there, the highest value of 900 views displays at the top and not my thousand, which I set as the maximum value. Ooh, chart height, delete. And now we are back to the default chart height in which it comes in. I love this. I think this is a great little feature. And then you have your styling. You have a border width that you can change the border of the items, your grid color in the back. Let's say we want to bring the grid color back and I'll put it on white to contrast a little bit with this gray. So go back here and then to settings and we activate grid lines again. You can see the white lines. Then we have the labels. You can change the font. And I wish there was an option here to add more space between the labels and the chart. And then you have the legend. Here's the box width. That is the display of the legend. So this little box, the more you increase that, the bigger it displays in the legend. And again, you have your font family styling. And then the tool tips you can set up over here as well. So make your customer happy today. Check if they have something in there that you can throw into a bar chart. Go over to CrocoBlock, check out Jet Elements, and I'll see you in the next video.